Rentec, Inc. stands for Renewable Energy Technology is a Los Angeles, California-based United States company that owns and operates wood fiber processing and nitrogen fertilizer manufacturing businesses. It provides wood chipping and wood pellet services through a subsidiary Fulgum Fibers, Inc. and sells nitrogen fertilizer through Rentec Nitrogen Partners, LP. In addition, Rentec owns the intellectual property for a number of energy technologies, such as Rentec Silvaga's gasification process and Fischer Tropsha process based Rentec process. <laughs> <laughs> energy technologies Rentec was initially formed in 1981 by Charles Benham and Mark Bone to develop and commercialize synthetic fuel technologies. In 1991, it incensed its Rentec process to the Fuel Resources Development Company Fuelco to produce diesel fuel from landfill gas at the Synhitec facility in Pueblo, Colorado. Rentec obtained ownership of the facility in 1993. This project failed and was closed at the same year due to lower than expected gas volumes. In 2000, Rentec acquired a methanol plant at Commerce City, Colorado, which was converted to a gas to liquids plant. In mid 2000s, Rentec planned building coal to liquids plants in Wyoming, Illinois, Kentucky, and Mississippi. In 2009, it unveiled plan for construction of a synthetic fuels plant in Rialto, California, and together with ASIG it agreed with 13 airlines to provide synthetic diesel for ground services at Los Angeles International Airport. In 2010 it made a memorandum of understanding with 14 airlines PTO provide alternative jet fuel and diesel fuel from its planned biofuels production complex project in Natchez, Mississippi. In 2011, Rentec agreed with the Government of Ontario to build a plant in White River, Ontario, to convert 1.3 million tons of provincial forests into jet fuel and naphtha. At the same year it purchased the 55 MW Biomass Integrated Gasification Combined Cycle Power Plant Project in Port St. Joe, Florida. This project was halted 2012. In 2013, Rentec changed its focus from biofuels to wood pellets production. It closed its product demonstration unit in Commerce City which was developing technology for conversion of cellulosic biomass into synthetic gas. It also cancelled its biofuels production complex project in Natchez. <inaudible> <inaudible> wood processing In May 2013, Rentec acquired Georgia-based Fulgum Fibers, Inc. as part of the acquisition of Fulgum Fibers, Rentec entered into a joint venture with Estonia-based pellet manufacturer Granul Invest to develop pellet plants in Canada and the United States. In 2013, it also acquired wood processing facilities in Atacokan and Wawa, Ontario, which it is converting into of pellet factories. These facilities are contracted to supply Ontario Power Generation and Drax Power with pellets for power generation. In May 2014, Rentec acquired New England Wood Pellets, considered to be the largest producer of wood pellets for the U.S. heating market. Established in 1992, New England Wood Pellet operates three wood pellet facilities, located in the U.S. Northeast, which is the largest domestic market for consumption of wood pellets for heating. <laughs> Nitrogen fertilizers Rentec entered into the nitrogen fertilizer business in 2006 when it acquired from Agrium an ammonia nitrogen fertilizer facility located in East Dubuque, Illinois. In 2011, Rentec consolidated its nitrogen fertilizer business into subsidiary company Rentec Nitrogen Partners. At the same year Rentec Nitrogen was listed at the New York Stock Exchange. In 2012, Rentec acquired Agrifos LLC, which owns a synthetic granulated ammonium sulfate fertilizer plant in Pasadena, Texas.
Topic: Legal troubles. As of February 21, 2017, Rentec posted on their website that the board has decided to idle the Wawa facility due to equipment and operational issues that would require additional unbudgeted capital investment, also stated as the uncertainty of profitability of wood pellets for heating. Rentec stated in the announcement that idling the plant will allow Rentec to conserve liquidity as it formally explores strategic alternatives. Subsequently, as a result of this announcement, Rentec stock RTK dropped 44%, initiating legal action of investors. Currently Rentec is being investigated by Levi & Kersinska, LLP, Holzer & Holzer, LLC, Bronstein, Goertz & Grossman, LLC, Goldbert Law PC, Rosen Law Firm, and Pomerantz Law Firm. 